Hello friends, I am C. Ayush Kanodia and today we are going to discuss a short concept on India's 116 and we are basically going to discuss how this India's 116 is different from India's 17. Okay, so this video is not going to tell in detail the treatments of India 16 116 but this is a short video which gives a crux about the difference in the India 116 and India 17 so India 116 is basically dealing with lease and in a there is one more India which we know is also dealing about lease that is India 17 so first we get to know about what is lease so lease ek agreement hota hai do parties ke beech mein wherein one party having the ownership of the asset gives the right to use the asset to the other party for a consideration okay so the party which is having the right to use the asset which is basically giving the right to use the asset is known as lesser and the party which is giving consideration is basically lessee okay so lesser so treatment for the lesser is same as in end as 17 so the treatment of lesser whether in end as 116 and end as 17 is same in which the lesser need to bifurcate a lease on the basis of operating lease or financial lease operating lease and financial lease okay but what is the difference in India's 116 and 17 is that in AS 116 talks about a different treatment for lessee while as compared to the treatment discussed by India 17 for the lessee okay so treatment for lessee is in India 17 lessee needs to bifurcate a lease into a operating lease and financial lease and what is the difference between the treatment so operating lease is booked as a rent in the PNL okay while financial lease for financial lease we have to book lessee pay lesser payable as a liability and the asset which we had taken on financial lease as our asset in our books of accounts okay but in as 116 says that lessee does not need to bifurcate a lease into a financial lease or operating lease no requirement to bifurcate a lease into a financial lease and operating lease and all the lease are to be booked from balance sheet only that is we have to book asset in our books and the amount payable to the lesser shall be booked as the liability and the lessee needs to do this treatment for all the lease okay so let's discuss impact of this into the financial statements what its impact is like 
earlier we will bifurcate a lease into operating lease and financial lease and if the lease is operating lease we book rent in pnl okay we book what we book these rent expense is operating cash outflow in cash flow statement okay but but when we discuss this that uh, we will book all the lease as a lease from balance sheet only the treatment will be different and what is the difference now all the lease will be booked from balance sheet मतलब बैलेंस शीट पे इम्पैक्ट क्या आएगा आपका एक एसेट बुक होएगा प्लस लीज लेसर को जो अमाउंट पेबल हैगा शेल बी बुकड एज लाइब्रिटी ठीक है पी एन एल में क्या कहा गया जो ये एसेट हैगा इसके अगेंस्ट डेप्रिसिएशन बुक होएगा एंड हमारा जो ये लेसर को पेबल अमाउंट हैगा जो लाइब्रिटी हैगा इसके ऊपर हमारा इंटरेस्ट एक्सपेंस बुक होएगा। देर विल बी नो रेंट एक्सपेंस इन पी एन एल एंड फॉर कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट अर्लियर वी आर बुकिंग द रेंट एज द ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस बट नाउ वी हैव टू बुक द प्रिंसिपल पेमेंट and the payment of interest expense as financial outflow cash outflow from financial activity however there is one optional exemption available in ind as 116 which talks about that if a lease is for short term and the value of lease is low low value hai then in that situation this this lease can be booked as rent this is the option and this is the only applicable if it is for short term and the amount is of low value then only this exemption is available to book it as a rent but if we forego this exemption then we have to book uh, all the lease for the lessee as on balance sheet item like booking the asset and the liability for that lease and instead of booking the rent we have to book depreciation and interest and its impact is that ultimately if we compare the balance sheet then we have the asset and we have the liability which we does not have if we take it as operating lease okay and in profit and loss earlier we book operating rent paid as op under a operating lease as expense while now we have to book interest as an expense and depreciation on that asset and the cash flow statements uh, for the rent paid under the operating lease uh, in india 17 will be treated as operating expense while the interest and the principal amount paid will be treated as cash flow from the financial activities okay that's all with regard to india's 116 and its comparison to india's 17 we will create some more videos for india's 116 shortly uh, so for that you will subscribe our channel and please hit the like button okay thank you guys